1982, the Sydney Harbour Bridge celebrated 50 years of operation. And a year later, Australia finally wrested the old mud away from the Americans. Around this time, Ball increased its involvement in oil and gas exploration with an investment in Oil Company of Australia. By 1987, the focus was back on resources. After waiting patiently for seven years for the right moment, Ball finally acquired Blue Circle Southern Cement, a strategic move that gave Ball greater control over its cement supply, a key to the future of its construction materials business. 1987 also saw the retirement of its chief executive, Sir Eric Neal. Bruce King took over the reins. 1988, and the country was kicking up its heels in celebration. It was also the year that the new Parliament House was completed. Borrell was one of the major suppliers of building materials for this massive project. By the late 80s, the business environment, however, was changing. Borrell found itself entering a new, more turbulent age of increasing competitiveness, lower growth and low inflation. Despite the economic outlook, Borrell maintained its philosophy of acquisition, but at a slower rate than before. Borrell had never been well represented in Western Australia. After acquiring Calcil's masonry operations, a new opportunity came up when Bond Corp began selling off the quarrying, concrete, asphalt and transport operations of its newly acquired Bell Resources. Then, in 1990, Midland Brick came up for sale and Borrell successfully outbid stiff competition. The purchase of Petersville Slay's timber division from Pacific Dunlop soon followed and Borrell became Australia's largest hardwood timber producer. But by the early 90s, the recession was beginning to bite. This is a recession that Australia had to have. Particularly hard hit was Borrell's building materials business. After 20 years of successive profit growth, profits fell. Some new approaches were required. 